The More Revolutionary Letters Chapbook is a project born from the alchemy of women. When Wisdom Body found out that Diane de Prima had died, we were collectively thinking about the ways in which we could honor her lineage. It started as just a small uh, collective project, and then it really bloomed into sort of a revolution in its own right. Um, I think that her death really um, enacted a type of paradigm shift within the poetic community precisely because she was such a powerhouse and was always very politically involved. And given the current circumstances of the state country that we live in, it seems only right to want to be politically involved through your writing. In letter number 35, she writes, but now the earth cries out for aid. Our brothers, our sisters set aside their childhoods, prepare to fight. What choice have we but to join them? And I think that energy was there just absolutely immediately. And the idea for the more revolutionary letters came about really organically, especially because of the nature of the project itself. Diane was always thinking about the questions, what it means to be a woman right now, what it means to want to live your life through writing. And I feel like those ideals resonate very deeply with Wisdom Body. Her ability to make a wide sweeping call for revolution within the intimacy of a letter, of one human being reaching out to another. It was really such a special honor to get to find people who had these um, little pieces of love to stitch together um, in her honor and who were willing to write, to write more revolutionary letters, willing to keep it going. And basically we were urging the community to send us their work where reaching out to people who had direct experience with Diane. And so when we write a revolutionary letter, it's like we're able to really pour ourselves into this form. And it's it's the most beautiful feeling. Um, Creating a poetic artifact uh, around De Prima's work will allow for a broader sense of community and a continuation. Her death does not have to signal the end of something, but probably, or maybe I should say the continuation of her lineage. Revolutionary letters, while she began it, it won't end with her and that we will all carry it with us. And we were really interested in having it as a print edition, especially right now with everything just being so digitalized and distanced, especially during the pandemic. It felt really important to have something tactile, something that you could hold, something that everyone who gets a copy can read it together and feel that sensation and not be locked to a screen. So we're really, really excited about printing it and having it available to people to read. More Revolutionary Letters is a community project written by the community for the community and in need of community funding. In this spirit of community-driven action, we've already asked the community for their letters. And now in this stage, we're asking the community for financial support for the next part of the project. The poems in this collection envision and work toward that piece that was never seen before. Thank you for helping make revolution possible.